back with you, and here is a look at our livestock trade with our quotes provided by Bar Chart. We'll begin with our live cattle trade. So on the big board, now we have turned mixed, and April is just one tick lower, down two and a half cents. We're at 164.10. June live cattle are one tick higher. We're at 160.30. The August and October contracts are actually about 25 to 30 cents lower. Feeder cattle trade right now, you have the uh, March down 47 at 185.62, April down 57 at 190.05. Meanwhile, on lean hogs, they had a tough start this morning. They were down over a dollar across the board, and look at them now. April down $3 at 83.47, and May lean hogs dropping 240 at 92.87. Uh, Oliver, I have to ask you, is this lean hog trade related to tension with China and fear of lack of demand or what? Well, I think that could potentially be part of it, but lean hogs have just been beaten and battered for the last month, month and a half. So I wouldn't, you know, put too much weight into that, although I'm, I'm sure it's probably playing a little bit of a role. Uh, you know, ending last week's session, we thought that Lean hogs were looking really good. We were able to hold those consolidation lows, the same area that we consolidated in and held last fall. That's September, October, November, and we're able to rebound. We're right back in that range. So I still think there's some upward mobility here. The commitment to traders report last week was delayed by the CFTC, so we're not able to see where funds are yet. But prior uh, the previous week, funds were net short for the first time since 2019. So I still believe that that does pose a risk of a short covering rally, but uh, it is a rough start to the, to the week, no doubt about it. Why the weakness in the cattle when we had cash cattle stronger to wrap up the week? Well, I think a lot of that had been probably baked into the cake. We saw the market stage a nice rally towards the end of last week, and I think the market was pricing in the higher cash trade. I'm still a little bit skeptical uh, of, of the cattle market at these levels. Funds have a rather large net long position. The cash market, although it has firmed, it hasn't really broken out. And so I think for the market to really exceed these price levels and attract new money to the market, I think we will have to see that cash market break out. And I'm not saying that it can't, but I'm not uh, holding my breath for it here in the near term. All right. Well, thank you very much, Oliver. Excellent to visit with you. Thank you for your help on a Monday. Oliver Slope of Blue Line Futures in Chicago. That's the latest, Janet, on what the markets are doing. This is a day when hogs cannot fly.